Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how to get paths and how to make them when you finally unlock the ability to actually use this feature. Now, paths in previous games were much more convoluted in terms of how you actually put them into the game using QR codes. Luckily, that is all swept aside and the whole path process is much, much easier in Animal Crossing's New Horizons. The bad news is that unlocking paths takes a hell of a long time, but I'm gonna talk you through all of the different things that you have to do to be able to unlock paths. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But the process starts right at the beginning of the game where you need to talk to Tom Nook about creatures that you have found, whether it's fish or any of the bugs around the island, you need to find him a series of creatures and take them to him and that will prompt the process of getting the museum and blathers moving to your island and you'll continue to give creatures to blathers to eventually get the museum itself. Now once you've done that with Tom Nook, that will actually move him on in terms of the process. The whole blathers thing is kind of a side thing when it comes to unlocking paths, but once you've got Tom Nook moving on, you'll then be able to pay off your island experience, which costs 5,000 Nook miles, and you'll then get to take out a loan for your house. Your house will get built in time, it takes one day for that to build, and then that will open up the opportunity to talk to Tommy about building a shop. Now you'll need to do some serious grinding to be able to pick up all of the wood and iron to be able to get that built, but again, as soon as you've got the materials in there, that process will continue and you just wait a day and you'll get the shop. You'll probably get the museum around the same time, but once you do all of that, you'll get a project with Tom Nook to build a bridge and three homes for new residents to your island. And the main job is crafting their furniture, which takes some time. And essentially the whole process is to find all of the different materials to be able to make all of their furniture. But in the same process, you also get that furniture for yourself so you can make it yourself anytime you want to. And then once the population goes up, so you have to wait a bit of time for them to move in. But once the population goes up, resident services expands and you get a exciting new addition to the island. And this will trigger project K to get KK Slider to put on a concert in the island. Now in general the process is that you talk to Tom Nook about the project itself and then you'll need to talk to Isabel about your island evaluation. However the good news is I can kind of talk you through everything that you need to do. So you'll start by building a campsite and then you'll need to talk to the campers and invite them to stay on your island. Then you'll need to buy land plots to increase population size and you get that information by talking to Tom Nook. And then you'll need to get a three star rating in your island evaluation and this is where things get a little bit more complicated and it's kind of really time consuming to be able to get that three star or even know how you get up to that three star rating. Uh, but the good news is I can kind of again talk you through it and there's another video which you can see linked above which kind of shows you exactly what I put on my island to get a three star rating. But the general gist is that you need to pick up all of the items and clear all of the weeds on your island, plant plenty of flowers and add scenic fences and other outdoor furniture and features to your island to make it as cool as possible. But to be honest, it's definitely worthwhile checking that video out to see exactly what I did. And then once you do that, you will complete Project K. Now I'm gonna leave what actually happens at the end of that for you to experience yourself, but the general gist is that you'll unlock the Island Designer app, which will allow you to put paths down and allow you to change cliffs and water, but you'll need to unlock those with Nook Miles, which is relatively easy to do. But for the purpose of this video, which is kind of all about paths, you'll get them straight away, or you'll get the very simple path straight away. You'll then be able to unlock cooler paths by buying them with Nook Miles at the Nook Stop using Redeem Nook Miles. But the actual process of laying the paths is the same no matter what kind of paths you use. You just need to open up the app from your Nook phone and that will then turn you into construction mode. And then you can access the menu to choose what you want to construct using the plus button and this will bring up your first options. To begin with, all you'll have is path and grass, 
which you can see on the screen now and essentially you just want to choose dirt path and then just press A and your character will start to lay the path. You just repeat that process and if you do anything wrong you can either replace it with grass or you can just pave back over it with the dirt path over the top of a dirt path and that will erase what you've done. It takes a little bit of time to get used to but it definitely makes it easier by facing forwards to construct your path. So just face in the direction that you want to do, take a step forward, throw down another path and just keep repeating that process and that's a quicker way to lay down the path that you want to put together. Like I said earlier, you can then redeem Nook Miles to be able to get cooler paths like this stone path which I got, I think it was like 3000 Nook Miles to upgrade to this one and the whole laying process is exactly the same and there's a whole series of different paths. In fact, you can even create your own custom path and then if you want to round the corners, just head on up to a corner area and try to lay down another path and that will just scrub out the corner to give you more of a rounded path look which looks kind of cool and that is how to get paths and how to make paths in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide, including my walkthrough series for Animal Crossing New Horizons with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments, let me know how you get on with paths and I will catch you next time.